Hi friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In yesterday's video, we lost our dearest Wednesday. She has gone on to Horsey Heaven and we now currently have Still Not Wednesday. That is the name of my new horse. But I am in Sanity like I promised and we are going to work on this quest of Men and Angels Part 1. Oh, Brother Dorkins and Sister Calderon need my help and I am... Thankfully, relatively nearby. So let's head on over there. Still not Wednesday. I should have a, a nice breakfast. M maybe I'll have a nice breakfast. There we go. The game keeps reminding me. Yeah, you're dying. Um, your your food is not as potent. Yeah, I know game. I eat all the time now. <laughs> Just in game. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? What yourself? Good job. That's a boy. Really? Not that there's anything against having a boy horse, but I miss Wednesday. Excuse me, coming through. Yeah, okay, boy. Okay. I think we're getting close. You see this here? Don't think the graveyard have you. Ugh, oh, whatever. Bratty children. Okay, let's find some place to hitch my horse. Because I know newer horses. I get I get plus cow uh, plus horse in plus horse reputation when I hitch my horse. See, just like that. Okay, let's take the red marker off. And let's go see what the brother and sister have to say. Although I should probably say. Hi! Yes, I'm here to help. Sorry, I just had to save. Hello, sister. Hello, sister. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day. Really? And hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. Hmm. And how are you? Uh, dying. Never better. <laughs> are you sure? I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. <laughs> oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. Yeah. To me, God is people and people are God, so... We must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, <laughs> as you wish. <laughs> uh, I'll just, I'll just donate. Can I just money donate money? Uh, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. So much easier. No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to it. Is that it? That was the quest, part one and, and apparently part two. Sister Calderon is grateful for Arthur's generous donation. Oh. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Where is Brother Dorkins at? Oh. Well, anyway, How y'all doing? I must focus Hello, on the work Mr. at hand. Amen. Go Goodbye, on. then. I have already taken up far too much of your time. Okay. Bye. That was, um... That was way shorter than I expected. 
Okay, well, um... What do you do? That's done. That took all of, like, three minutes. Okay, so I can... I think I'm actually going to go and empty my bags a smidgen at the fence. And then, is this a general store? And the general store, too. Because this is just the doctor. I'm... You can't help me. And then I'm going to make my way up to Ainsburg to work on Jim Boy Calloway's quest. I am tempted to go to the show again in San Denis to maybe get backstage. One of you have told me that I need to be on the lookout for it, but I, I, I don't want to do that just yet. I'll, I'll do that again later, but that's hopefully I'll meet you up at Ainsburg unless something else exciting happens, of course. So you went to that fortune teller? Oh, no, I did. Not I wish I had five sons and great riches. Well, I certainly am glad you feel so good about it. Oh! Yeah. No, no, what the hell? Can that happen? Oh, is someone dead there? Oh. I've got some in my mouth. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, I oh, am no. so sorry. I didn't think anyone was standing there. The old crone. Oh, I'm Ooh, sorry. Boy. Oh. They'll need a change of clothes. They will need a change of clothes, won't they? <laughs> okay, I'm by the fence, which I thought I could get in this way. No, I can't. And I remembered that I can get a new... Tr I, I killed... I killed a moose. So in theory, I should be able to get a new trinket. Sorry, I'm running to all the people. Okay, let's uh, head in here and see if I can craft something. Moose antler trinket. What does it what does it do for me? Permanently increases the player's health experience bonus by 10%. Excellent. Thank you. Is this by all I have? I have so many others that I have to still get and buy. Why is the boar one still show up here? That's very strange, but whatever. All right, we are back in Ainsburg. Nothing exciting happened because I fast traveled my way up here. So let's park, still not Wednesday over here. And then let's go and catch up with Jim Boy Calloway. Sheriff's office, it looks like. Let's see. So it is part four of the noblest of men and, women, and a woman. Callaway has requested that you find Slim Grant and bring him to Brandy Wine Drop. That's right. We're supposed to find this guy to, so that Jim Boy can kill him or something. Am I going? And he's a sheriff now, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Hello, Mr. Lawman. Do. You there. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Uh-oh. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. <coughs> well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, <laughs> would you go looking for him? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll oh. be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> my, my new trinket's on my neck. It looks pretty good. Okay, so we need to go and search... <laughs> Locate Slim Grant and the Outlaw Camp. Um, would that be our Outlaw Camp? You know, I, I, may, well, my other horse is here, so maybe not so much, but maybe they're looking for some Murphrys. Okay, well, I need to go over here. I don't know if the game's gonna give me instructions, but now I have them. Okay, well, I think we're here, or here-ish. There is a camp of some sort over here. Let's uh, leave Still Not Wednesday right Whoa. here. Or here, maybe? Well, I guess right here it just is. All right, let's uh, get... No, no, R. There we go. Lancaster repeater, please.
So the marshal got kidnapped. Oh, but that's the marshal right there. They seen you. Have they? Are you sure? Stop them. Sir, can you? There you go. You made short work of them. Yep. I'm pretty good at my job sometime. My job being shooting things. <laughs> I just want the ammo. All right, sir. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay, we need to cut him free. Okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna put you on my horse. And take you somewhere. Deliver. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. <laughs> you be like, I've saved you to take you to another outlaw. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. <laughs> this music was playing on my right over here, and it was hilarious. Um, okay, this way. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? Nope. I was, before you got so short with me. What do you mean? You need to explain. It makes Son, the ride more entertaining. what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. <laughs> Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you, taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. Huh? I would just jump off and run away. Well, you can't, because I guess your feet are tied as well. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. It is. Horse shit. I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. <laughs> I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. There you go again, Mr. Grant. I ain't doing yourself no favors. This is it. Down here. It's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> State Marshal versus just regular Marshal. It's like, it's a step up, okay? Please, please be aware of that. Okay. Over here we shall go. And we're meeting the right, where is, what's his name? <laughs> Place Slim Grant by Levitt. Yeah. <laughs> so you got him. Yeah. Where's, what's his name? I think so. <laughs> Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <sighs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I there never he is. shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. <laughs> and I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me! It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh. Seriously? You shot him in the back! Isn't that a big no-no? Well, that settles that then. I shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back! When these things happen... God damn you! God damn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on! Draw! Why? I said draw, god damn it! No. Yes! Okay. I mean, 
mean. Did Arthur? <laughs> I died as well. I didn't draw very well. Okay, well, retry checkpoint, I suppose. Okay, I gotta hold it though. All right, I'm ready. Got him. I think I got him this time. I did get him this time. Shit! Shit indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Oh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. Really? I, I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. <laughs> I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I shot him. No, and you didn't shoot him. Oh? He did. Oh. In the back. Oh. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. <laughs> There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Well, there's a view. Noblest of men and a woman is completed. Is it really? Callaway wants to settle an old score with State Marshal Slim Grant. Yep. Oh, there's a gold weapon over here. Um, drop midnight pistol. Or, yeah. Compendium updated Callaway's revolver. Ooh, that's perfect. That's party. A rare school field revolver plated in silver with Canis Kenim edit, uh, engraved down the side of the barrel. Previously belonged to the late gunslinger Jim Boy Calloway, who was shot in the back by the coward Slim Grant. <laughs> this gun has an ammo capacity of six rounds. You can use all, all kinds of extra stuff. I mean, I do like my handgun collection. It's, it's, I feel like it's quite good. Anything else on him? Two dollars and eighty cents. Yeah, we're gonna loot the marshal as well. Oh, really? Really? Okay, hang on. I can still Midnight's pistol. Yeah. I like my gold gun. My gold gun and then Callaway's gun. Okay, well. That, again, didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Um, let, oh, I could go back up here and work with Charlotte again. I could go do the veteran as well. Um, but I think, <laughs> not to be dramatic, I think I want to go all the way back down to St. Denis. I should have done this when I was here last time and work on Sadie's quest because we love our girl Sadie. And we'll go hold her hand or shoot with her when... What was it? The O'Driscoll leader, Colm O'Driscoll gets gets hanged because um, I don't think that's going to go well. But anyway, I'm going to save and, and meet you there unless, of course, something exciting should happen. I've entered legendary animal territory. Hunt this legendary. What legendary animal are you talking about? I see zero clues over here. What legendary animal do you think? Oh, it's probably that dang crocodile. I don't I don't want to deal with the crocodile right now. Right now I want to find Miss Sadie and talk to her about dealing with Colm O'Driscoll. That's what we'll try to do for the rest of the day today. And if that doesn't work out, then we'll I'll think of something else. <laughs> we'll have a leisurely stroll through beautiful city of San Antony before I no doubt shoot it all up and get a ridiculous bounty and the city goes on lockdown and be positive Jessica it might go completely quickly and easy <laughs> right <laughs> no no well isn't uh, isn't 
What happened, sir? Good evening, partner. Good evening. Buenas tardes, señor. She took all my money. Hey! Will you help a fella out? Sure. I need some good cowboy karma. Come on. Get yourself some real food, huh? I know you got some money. Mm. Listen, you have to take this. Mm, that's real kind. I lost my money playing poker. Oh. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Oh, yeah, I have a uh, side uh, mission y thing I could work on yeah. over there. <laughs> Hush, hush. Above the gunsmith, huh? Oh, keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> That's to be weird, but later, later, my friend. Okay. We were heading to Sadie. Miss Sadie. He's just going to spend the money on more alcohol. Whoa. Whoa. It's all right. Yep. The the stage The trolley is bigger than we are. And we would be squashed in that situation. Oh, I can brush you. I've got I've got that. It real I mean like it's filthy and dirty, but it's it's got its own pretty charm, right? Like I like it. Um, okay, let's try to hitch. It's still not Wednesday somewhere. Good evening, mister. Good evening. Where is a hitching post? I don't see one. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, we'll just park him right here. You stay there. Don't let nobody steal you. Okay, now that I'm here. Let's save one more time. I feel like this is where I met her last time. Out of the way! I already moved, sir. Calm yourself. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today mm -hmm. is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. If... But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? Really? In this. Okay. I was gonna say, it's nighttime. Are we gonna time travel to the daytime? Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We we'll do. Cut through kinda. the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say? Being a fancy woman of sand and he shoots you. Hm. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. He was you not. lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? Yeah, When you really? seem to lose it all so often now. Mm -hmm. This doubting and questioning of yours, I miss the old Arthur. You mean the old Arthur who gave you blind loyalty and nothing else? I like this new Arthur. Don't we all? 
Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Maybe, maybe it'll all go fine. We're here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. Mm -hmm. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. No, no, you should do all the things. Dutch, you stay there. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Were you, though? I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Mm hmm I, I would walk faster, but it won't the game won't let me. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? All's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Mm -hmm. Find a way up there onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Okay. Find a way to the rooftop. I don't even know oh, where. Arthur. Here's a ladder. There's also stairs right here. Uh, excuse me. There's a shooter there. Find a way up to the roof and stop it. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Uh, go up here. We can. And then can we go up here? We can. What's this then? A gun case. Where is he? Where is he? He's not here! Uh, oh! Boss is gonna swing, I promise. Well, Cole, there goes your escape plan. Fair citizens of San Denis, for as long as any of us can remember, it is justice that separates us from Barbary. Yet that went way better than I thought it was going to, by the way. <laughs> barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll. Where is Mrs. Is Adler? Oh, there they are. One such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states. Seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This are... is not a court. 
where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task Hi. we enjoy. <laughs> but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? The moment he realizes he, he is actually Driscoll. going to die. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <gasps> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Sadie! Oh. Arthur! If you can hear me, shoot some of these old dress schools. I don't like problems. I'm good Move at it. Move up closer to them. No more badges left. Like, is he still alive? Where am I going to be back in Beaver Hollow? Probably. Yep. It's still not Wednesday. <laughs> How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but hang on one second. I want to look at the, my new gun before um I, I miss it. So the Sereno Carcano is a long scoped bolt action rifle that can hold several rounds at once when combined with a fast firing rate. It was okay and quick reload speed. This makes it ideal for facing several enemies in long distance combat. This gun is an ammo capacity six rounds and can use all kinds of ammunition. I'm so sorry. Um, what were you saying? No thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. No, she ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? That the engagement ring you and gave dear her? Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. 
There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much, and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Did, did we have plans to meet up somewhere? I don't remember those plans. Oh, Arthur. Oh, Mary, I'm... Uh, honestly, at this stage, yes. It's, it's, we're glad she's finally moving on. I hope she finds somebody else. Oh, third time lucky. You completed goodbye, dear friend. Achievement. With Cole Mulder School under arrest, Sadie, Arthur, and Dutch head to San Denis to watch him hang. Uh, eight headshots? No. Find Colm's back up within 40. I feel like I got pretty close. And then the whole thing in six minutes and 30 seconds. I'm, I'm, I just like to enjoy my quest. But anyway, I am going to pause things here today. And in tomorrow's video, um, I may do some more side questing again. I, maybe I'll just do, maybe I'll do the veteran and I need to do the, the, the Draco one. It's not Draco, dark Draco one, whatever his name is. It's it's up over here. I need to do that one before I completely forget about it and the game is over. So maybe that's what we'll do and then we'll go back to a main mission maybe if there's time. Probably not, but who knows? I'm slow. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will... Oh no! You okay, friend? Never better. Totally fine. Dutch! You're breaking his heart. You know that. Did he tell you to say this to me, friend? No. <laughs> but I know. Dutch and that fool at his ear, they're gonna kill every last one of us. I see that now. Yep. I would have thought, Javier, after Guarma, you would have been more on Arthur's page than Dutch's, but I guess not. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.